In our narrative today, a man of untold wealth stood resolute, steeling himself against the ominous toll of Doomsday's impending catastrophe. His world was swathed in a blanket of opulence, with every corner shimmering with gold and brimming with priceless artifacts. The man bathed in luxury, oblivious to the danger, even as the menacing waters ascended and the skies turned a threatening shade of grey. His garage housed a state-of-the-art car, equipped with every conceivable modern amenity, a gleaming yacht rested at his private dock, and a cutting-edge helicopter waited at his beck, and these were no mere machines, but symbols of his affluence and power, their potential utility lost in their sheen. But his vision was obscured by his pride and stubbornness, his gaze fixated on his glistening valuables, the ostentatious chandeliers, the resplendent silk drapes, the marble statues whispering of bygone eras. He was so engrossed in his materialistic world that he held on to his possessions with a vice-like grip, failing to see that his true salvation lay not in his trinkets but in his practical assets. He was a king in a castle of vanity, seemingly unaware or perhaps uncaring, that his castle was built of sand. While waves advanced, the man, rooted in his opulence, remained unyielding and obstinate, dismissing the lifelines thoughtfully arranged out for his retreat. His heart radiated with self-indulgence, his sight clouded by his own insatiable wealth. Those life-saving measures so close, so directly beneath his gaze were disregarded. Spoiled by his affluence, he took them for granted, choosing blind pride over his own salvation. The storm escalated violently, leaving the man to mourn over the wasted opportunities and the assistance he misunderstood. In his final breath, he expressed deep regret, not just for the fate that befell him, but also for the vanity that consumed him. His focus on hollow treasures and his blindness to the life-saving treasures around him had irrevocably bolted his gate. Our narrative ends, underscoring a lesson of paramount importance, the perils of becoming too comfortable in opulence. It reminds us to embrace humility and appreciate the truly priceless aspects of life, for they are not to be disregarded. We frequently have the assistance we require within our reach, yet it is all too often overlooked, concealed by the blinding light of pride and vanity. In this ancient story, now illuminated by contemporary understanding, we witness a man's awakening to his own missteps. It instructs us to recognize salvation, not veiled in mystery, but in the clear view of the day. It encourages the release of materialistic desires and haughty attitudes, welcoming instead the support that flows in with the waves. This man, now enlightened, appreciates the things once overlooked, understanding their true worth. Thus, engrave in your hearts this poignant tale when ego and greed begin to scale. It's a stern warning about the perils of taking blessings for granted and the significance of cherishing what truly matters. True salvation doesn't dwell in riches or power, but in the purity of humility and the clarity of grateful recognition.